developmental mind, developmental psychology, developmental psychology, the beginner's mind. Here we have the ten dimensions of string theory, you know, of the physical world. We'll come on to the structure in a moment. But first, the ten dimensions. Now, our minds are structured the same on these ten dimensions. Now, the important thing about the dimensions is that they're different from one another. They build up on one another. And so, likewise, our minds build up in the same process. This is how our mind develops on the ten dimensions. First, we have the point, you know, the, the zero dimension, the, su the superposition, the imaginary point, lots of points. That point moves and becomes a line. So this is the area of our brain. If you see these as different areas of our brain, this is the area of the brain or of our minds that deals with movement. So the point moves and we watch that movement. And then we see an intent to do, direct that movement. So each of these lines also represents a function that develops and that exists within the time and ten dimensions of string theory. So we're paralleling the physical world of string theory and the structure of our minds on the same structure, the same development. The, the, the line moves and you get a plane, a two, a face. The plane moves, you get the third dimension, space. The space moves, you get time. Time moves, you get the fifth dimension, which is the observer. So this is, if you like, where we come into play in the structure book, which I'll come back to in a minute. The, the, the observer moves, and so you get pressure. You know, you feel the objects you're moving in amongst. And, and that's the next step. The, the, those fixed pressure maps are the objects. The movement of these objects is energy, gives rise to the energy, and the, and the movement of the energy gives rise to the world, the world of gravity. So the, the, nine, the ten dimensions build one on top of another, and our minds develop in the same process into this structure. Now, the structure is basically three triangles. If you look, think about it as the contact senses, the distant senses, and then this is your attention. So we start off with a point, then we come on to the first triangle. This is the triangle of our visual imaginations, the level of quantum mechanics. For you New Ages, it's a level of angels. And there's the observer seeing two dimensions, seeing a point moving, the line moving, the drawing, on the surface. Now one of the ideas I'll come along to later is there's actually two beginnings. There's the beginning of mind, and then there's the beginning of, of life, of postnatal life. Now in postnatal life, there's the, the observer, which is the baby, there's the movement, there's the breast, and there's the mother's face. So the movement, so the baby sees the movement of the breast, or follows the movement of the breast, and sees the mother's face. So its attention is attracted by the breast, which is moving. This is for boys and girls, males and females. Dad goes straight to the breast, to the moving breast, and then for the inner relationship with the mother to accept whether I'm going to be fed or not, which is in this function. See what I mean? So you can see this. There's the observer. There's the driver. 
and there's the point that he's driving towards and he's steering and following the movement there's the other object which he's seeing moving this is dividing those that video signal into the different objects into the different surfaces and then there is seeing those different surfaces and identifying them seeing the different faces and identifying them seeing the different speeds and then accelerating or decelerating to move with or away from or towards this is so this is the accelerator the, 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 this is the terrain you're going over what surfaces you're seeing this, this triangle is the video signal the flow of those images so I'm seeing first of all that point and then it's moving to draw that line as I said this draw should we see an intent you see what I mean so there's a development a build up of the meaning so from that intent you can draw an image and that image has got certain meanings which can mirror things that are happening further down now as this as I said this is a quantum level so you get two-dimensional events things appearing and disappearing through the two-dimensional plane through this if you like oscillation you get a waveform so basically by moving around you realize this space this this space you can move in this point this point this point this, point, this, point, this space so that random that movement creates the waveform of space so that's a wave this is the ohm sign the wave endures just as there the line is drawn on the surface the line endures on the surface or on the screen so the wave endures and creates sound so this is space the wave endures and creates sound so this is space time so as this is the level of quantum mechanics this is the level of relativity this is energy if you remember so there we are with our attention moving backwards and forwards seeing this and that and listening to various points and bringing up certain images and that then generates the next level of relativity in different situations that we're in everything is, is codified in the different places and times there and then when there's different places and times and we can move around in different places and different times we have a physical map of the environment from pressure to the objects and their position in our conscious field so our mind consists of these three triangles the video the audio and the pressure signals the audio because we use the audio signal for, for scanning this echo location like dolphins use or bats we also do that with sound to recognize spaces but we identify spaces through the smell this is sound so that's hearing and then this is the detection of heat we're sensitive to, to heat and these are the distance senses we're sensitive to heat at a distance sound at a distance and smell at a distance so these are the distance senses hence relativity space time Then, as I said, stop.